All right, y'all. It's your boy Design. We here, Creative Collection. We here to bring, you know, some truth. We here to bring what could make it better. So we talking about different topics and stuff. And we are going over solutions every day. Every episode is a different solution. Right now we're going with some of the things we may know about, some of us may not know about. We're talking about some news on the Fox right now, talking about some situation with COVID right now. So we're going to play this. Remember the spring of 2020, the heart of the pandemic? We were told to mask up, social distance, and stay home, or we were all going to die. I got to stop it right there. 2020 was crazy. We really had to really, like, we really stopped. We stopped working. We stopped doing everything. We started getting paid checks just to be in the house. We was all scared. Everything was closed down. Everything was locked up. It was You couldn't do much. You just had to just wait to see what was going to happen next. And at that time, we didn't have no information to know what was really going on. So everybody was a cut, like, yo, we're going to listen to this right now. We're going we gonna to buckle down and we're going to listen to what's going on because we seen what's happening in China and we're not in China to really know what's going on in China. So we about to really buckle down, right? All right. And for a while we listened, but then we realized something was off. It almost seemed like our health experts were just making things up as they went along. And it turns out we were right. Deborah Burks, Trump's White House coronavirus response coordinator, the one with the fancy scarf collection, admitted to making things up in her new tell-all book. Burks reveals that she and Dr. Fauci were lying to the president and to the American people about their COVID protocols. You lying to the American people about COVID protocols. That means whatever legislation was put together to orchestrate everything that we went through is being lied about. It's, 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 it's a deception off the bat. That's crazy already. This video ain't even two minutes in, three minutes in, and it's, it's, they already breaking you with crazy things. This, like, I think I feel like when you see news on the TV, we should be able to pause it and say, wait a minute, what did she just say? What did he just say? This is the moments now when, when it's a reaction time, we stop in it and we get to see what they're saying while they're talking, because that sounds crazy to me, that you lied about the protocol. Protocol is... What we had to do during this time, the emergency, the urgency, the rush, the, I right, yo, you, yo, you got to hurry up and get these shots. Yo, be scared. Yo, we going to die. Oh, oh, all of that. <laughs> it was set up based on a protocol that this woman with her scarf on her neck situated. She admits to making things up, altering COVID reports and misinforming us in the name of public safety. Starting with their old slogan, 15 days to slow the spread. Remember that one? We've really worked on messaging to the American people about these 15 days to stop the spread. I know it's a lot to ask because you've done it for 15 days. It's what we've been talking about in the 15 and 30 days to prevent the spread. That whole thing about 15 days was bull. Burks knew very well that 15 days wasn't the magic number. There was no magic number. In her book, she writes this. No sooner had we convinced the Trump administration to implement our version of two-week shutdown than I was trying to figure out how to extend it. So that 15 days to slow the spread was just a sneaky way to get their hooks into us so they could lock us down for Damn. So it started all out from 15 days to slow the spread. First, it was two weeks. Then... No, first it was, yeah, first it was two weeks, 15 days, and it's just like, it turned into a year and change. Like, they just, it, they manipulated it up to turn it into more and more as we go. You know what that means? Why I had to pause it just now is we had to co-sign that. As the people, we the people had to sit there and be like, oh, she wants another seven days? Let her go. She wants another 20 days? Let it go. She want another month? Let it go. Oh, she wants six months. Let it go. You have we we have to agree with this bullshit. We have to agree with the nonsense step by step. Every step they make, they got the power, but we have to agree with the power. So she because she had to, to skip over to get an extra three days. And, and we had to say, yes, Yana, we give you the three days. 
Just understand that sheep is being used with, in numbers. Longer. And if you dared to leave your house, Burks told us the only way to stay safe was to social distance. It's everybody social distancing by six feet when they're outside. Um, and that is probably absolutely the key more than anything else is if you're never more than if you're never within six feet of any single individual, um, then you've controlled the virus. Stay six feet apart. Stay six feet apart. I, I got a question. I just want to make it short. We're going to skip and stop. We're going to do that. Make it six feet apart. Why is it six feet apart when six feet is the, the is the grounding for our deaths? That's such a fear embellishing nature to it. Six feet from my death and six feet from my friends and family. That is a, a, a fear embellishing creation. And it's it, it, it's something that makes you like, yo, okay, you gotta stay, gotta be far apart. But the number of six, come on, we know the number six, the six feet we put our family, some of us. Rest in peace to all our family members. We all lost family members. They want six feet deep in the ground. Why we got to be six feet apart? Why couldn't you say seven feet? Why couldn't you say five feet? You say six. And you know five and six ain't no different when it comes down to the separation of part ties, when it comes to viruses spreading. It ain't that, that ain't that ain't making no difference. But the number of mess with your head, though. I mean, they should just made that up and limit your gatherings to 10 people. They told us it would save lives. Well, surprise, surprise. Those numbers were made up too. Those numbers were made up. We are not, we, we pausing this. We slow, we're taking our time with this. We taking our time with this. Those numbers were made up. Fox 5, shout out to y'all because they seem to expose a little bit more than other newscasts. I trust, I trust none, but I like Fox 5 just a little bit. Just a little bit. Tucker be talking, we be talking, right? But they made that up. If they could make that up, if they could make so, a fair mechanism that puts people to a point where they're not willing to socialize with their friends, imagine a power structure that they can they have over your thought patterns, your mind, your cognition. This is amazing. And it's like, yo, you, we got to sit back and analyze this now. As the people, the, as the people of the nation, which we considered the sheep or the normal everyday person, we have to analyze what we're being told. No more, no more, uh, I agree with you, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, the earth is round. Yes, oh, oh yes, I'm supposed to get a birth certificate. Oh, yes, no, no. We need to start thinking, what's going on out here? Burke says, I had settled on 10, knowing that even that was too many. But I figured that 10 would at least be palatable for most Americans, high enough to allow for most gatherings of immediate family, but not enough for large dinner parties and critically large weddings, birthday parties, and other mass social events. All right, I got to pause it there again. This sounds like it's creating social anxiety because now we can't get together with your family. You can't get together with groups of people. You can't get together with, the, with, with people you love, your close friends. And you just got to be by yourself or you got to be with, with just your little brother or your, your big sister. And you, you can't be yourself now. You, so we get in social anxiety. Humans are social creatures. So that means our, that anxiety is, it turns into stress. Stress turns into different diseases. And we're not even going to go down, deep down the line, but just understand the basis of having anxiety on a, on a, on a, a continuing tip turns into different issues amongst us and it's like this that could that could have that could have been the issue in the first place is the fact that we had social issues because anxiety stress makes you breathe harder stress makes you stress makes you do all types of things stress gives you all types of symptoms close to the flu bro so if you're implying something on me that creates stress that means that means a lot of the things going on could be just fear and stress understand what we're saying because there's a lot of people that believe everything that come out the news mouth everything that come out of science mouth everything that come out the media mouth like they love us or something so she basically wanted to keep people from getting married and celebrating the holidays and if you thought that was shady listen to this 
Burks didn't just make up rules, she was also altering COVID data in weekly reports. So states would have a reason to escalate their COVID protocols. And then when it comes to the origins of the virus, it seems Deborah Burks knew about the lab leak thing all along. She told the Daily Mail that COVID came out of the box ready to infect. She also claimed that the virus was being worked on by scientists in Wuhan. This is on the news, bro. It's people in their families pressing people like, yo, go ahead and go make that decision. Let's go. If you don't make this decision, we going, I'm kicking you out of my house. But then if you go on the news, you're going to see that they saying this quickly, swiftly, 10 minute video. They're saying facts. We need to watch the video before you go prosecute, prosecute your child, prosecute your friends, your children. You, you watch the video, bro. They lie and they tell the truth at the same time. Did you hear what he just said? He said Wuhan, China set up the whole the disease and it's rumor has it. This is on the news. Rumor has it. It was created and orchestrated within these facilities, these science facilities. At the same time, I, these mothers and fathers should be ashamed of themselves. If you kicked your father, your mother, your child out, if you kicked your child out because they didn't get no shot, boy, I, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because now you go on the news on Fox 5 and they say, oh, you know, you, you know, it was orchestrated by, potentially orchestrated by so-and-so. Which is interesting because in the spring of 2020, she said this. I don't have an evidence that it was a laboratory accident. I don't have an evidence that it was. Come on now. Phenotic events, they come from animals into humans. And so figuring that out will be really critical, as well as figuring out could it have happened in the lab. Right now, the general consensus is animal to human. Remember the- All right, there you have it. That's the video right there. We went over that. So she said, animal to human. She's trying to scatter around how to say it. They don't want to tell. You're not going to tell the truth. If you're not the people of the truth, you're not going to tell the truth fully in its heart of the truth. But you're going to get, you're going to deliver the truth because that's by the powers that be, by the real powers that be. I'm not talking about the powers that be. Y'all think the powers that be. The real powers make you have to dis ex explain things. You can't get around the way the world works. You can't get around telling the truth. You're going to tell it in some of your lies. And you have to tell some of the truth, right? But like we said, this is a quick check-in. This is just a quick check-in. So now, Creative Collections. It's your boy Design. We got Squeaky Gems. We got Goldfinger Visions. We got what can make the world better. And we going over things that what can make the world better. And what can make the world better right now for me is going over these news videos, showing you and, and taking our time with it, pausing it, and talking about what they saying while they saying it because they got two tongues. And we going to make it one tongue. All right?